I grow, you grow. Correction. The uh, seed is what becomes a caper. It emerges out of the flower. So I stand corrected. It is not the beginning of the flower. That's the. This is the. Hold on. This is the beginning of the flower here. Then you get the flower here. And as the flower dies off, the it creates its own seed, which this will dry up and drop to the ground and turn into a seed. And that is what you harvest to make your nasturgium capers. So you guys have actually seen my learning process where the plant corrected me as I investigated that this is the beginning stage of the nasturgeon. Then comes the flower. And after the flower dies, you get your seed. So if I let that dry out and save it, I'll be able to replant that next year and get more nasturgeon. But if I take it now and eat it, because the flower is edible, everything about the nasturgeon is edible. If I take that now and eat it, I get the peppery caper taste from that seed. But if I let it dry out, I can reseed. So out of here will come the caper that we're harvesting or the nasturgeon caper, because it's not actually a caper, but it mimics a caper. So, after the flower dies off, you get that. And that, because <clears throat> those are the petals that kind of died off around it. And that is uh, what I just harvested and ate, and it's very delicious, I mean, very. I'm harvesting them now, I'm about to go whip me up a little kale salad got some beautiful kale let me show you guys some kale that I got going right now I got this uh, this kale this is the Russian red kale it's been with me all spring and it's still producing and it's in and amongst my strawberries Still got beautiful strawberries going. Mr. Nanners. Got some Swiss chard right there. I can grab that and put it in the salad as well with the nasturgeon capers. Oh, got some huge peppers, Anaheim wax peppers. I can throw them in my salad. And then I still have some tomatoes, but instead of tomatoes, you should try some strawberries in your salad instead of tomatoes and I still got flowers on my strawberries so I'm producing strawberries so I just got me a nice little salad there oh let me show you something else got onions right there I can throw some onions in my salad as well still got habaneros I don't want to put them in my salad though so let me show you guys some more some of the regular traditional kale. Okay, here's some uh, some of the kale you probably used to seeing. The crinkly kale. Here, and I got my New Zealand spinach. Still got more kale. Look at this nasturgeon plant right here. He doing well. About to harvest some more of those seedlings or nasturgeon capers that I was telling you guys about. See, got some right there. Getting all them bad boys. But yeah, the caper or the nasturgeon is also pest control. Got here, look at that. More kale. So it's on. I grow, you grow. Eat what you grow. 
produce your produce. Fare ye well. Oh yeah, we might want to add a little snow peas to the salad too. Look at them beautiful snow peas. That's the that's the time you want to get them when they're young like that. When they're young like this. Oh, that's beautiful right here. Eat them right off the. That's when you want them. So I'm gonna let them get about that big. So you can see I got a few, more than a few, but I saute them up, or just, you see me eating them just like this, but uh, stir fries, things of that nature, very, very delicious, excuse my crunching, but this is what it's all about, it's coming out the flour right there, young, Snow peas. Gonna add them to the salad too. Fare ye well.